Hey, we're on my map. Home field advantage. The Gidawood. The Gideon meat plant. So first things first, we're going to go to the furthest gen away from where we start. It's also the murder box gen, the murder room. So we're going to check if there were anybody around here. Then we're going to go that way. We're just going to check the ones in the furthest corners first. There we go. Saw somebody. There's some sprint burst for you. Probably could have uh, taken a hit there. But I should have uh, I should have fired quicker, that's all. We're probably close enough now for just a basic. There we go. We still knew we could, uh, we still had room for the M1, so. There we go. So this guy likes the 360 to his right. That's something we'll keep in mind. There were two people on this gen. At least I thought there were. I'm still playing like I'm playing Huntress again. Let's go. Thank you for delivering yourself to the hook for me. Very sweet of you. A little bit tough rocking rock and devour on this map. Because you need to be able to have a certain distance away from where people are. So I'll have some later. It'll be okay. Thank you. We've still got we got a heal going on. Yeah, I've not been playing enough. We're not gonna we're not gonna pick this guy up, just so you're all aware. We're just gonna down him for map pressure. He just came off the hook, so ultimately we wanna go for somebody else. We haven't really been pressuring gens at all. Again, it's first game of the day. First game back. We're just chilling. That we've missed. Pretty much every shot so far, so. She had a dead hard there. She used it a little bit wide. Hey Terp, how's it going? We need to go this way because we're blocked off from the gen on that side. Got to get away for my devour token. See how far I have to travel, like having to go upstairs as well makes it quite quite a challenge. There we go. Is that somebody on that? No, thank goodness. Thank you. to the basement. If we were feeling particularly scared of that pallet, then we could have just walked around so that we don't have to go through the pallet since the gen's already been complete. We're going to put her on front hook, mainly because then I don't have to go as far away for devour at this point. Which would give me more of an opportunity to get back there if I need to. So... Nice. We're going to reload again because I want them to go for the save here. Oh, 
We needed to down bill there before they unhook. Because now they won't know that we're on four stacks of devour. Once by the time they pull bill off the hook, they'll think we're on three stacks. So this becomes very big, the fact that they haven't yet saved that person. Because we can basically get two stacks for the price of one. So there we go, we're on three stacks now. So this is going to be the first time they find out that I have Devour. Now they know. There's my fourth stack. Whoops. And now this will be them thinking that they can make one more unhook safely here. But in fact, this will be the unhook that means that I could mori them. So they really need to find the totem. If they find it, that's fine. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm not ever fussed when people take the totem. It's more about trying to make sure we have a good time. And, uh... And a fun game. So the other thing is, is that when you hook people in the basement, there's a tendency for people to think that you're going to camp the basement. So sometimes it can be a lot easier to go, obviously leave the basement, go find somebody else at that point. You can get a lot of pressure that way. There we go. Now we're at five stacks of devour. We need a way down. That's what we need. Don't really have any good ways back down the stairs here, so. We'll have to remember that for the end game. If they're running in from this angle, they might see Devour here. Yep. So now they know Devour. They know where Devour is. This would be the Nancy dead. We're going to kill her. Mainly because she knows where Devour is. If they are running as a team, then... Uh, then they'll all know anyway by now. But if she's running solo, then there's a chance that we can still keep Devour safe. He did not expect that. Again, I'm not going to kill all of them. I don't think it's necessary. Like, ultimately, we're just trying to have, have a bit of fun. And all that stuff. So, we're going to let them take Devour. At this point... Because at that point, they know that they could die. Okay, we've already killed one. They know there is a possibility now that they could all get obliterated. Will they, though, is the real question. The answer is no, because we already know that info. There you go. Now they all feel like gods, because they're like, we did it. We're not going to die. Everyone praises that guy that took the totem. And they go, man, that was close. When they all escape. I don't think this person's on death hook. No, we're good. And we could hook Bill once more, I believe, as well. But again, this is what I mean. When playing killer, like, I try and narrate a good story. I'm trying to make sure that people go, wow, that was close. We did it, though, you know. We achieved. Whereas uh, a lot of the time you'll get people...
You get a lot of people who are just like, well, there was no chance in the first place, so. Oh, here's Bill. Good. That's what we want. Because we need to hook him a second time. If he runs through that pallet. There we go. We can wound him. It's going to take him a while to run this way anyway. So either he's got to come back across. That's fine too. It leaves him at this pallet. Poor shot. Poor shot. Again, a little bit of a mistake from Bill there. Because he cut down a lot of the distance by having to run... by having to run back around that loop, so. I thought that was a wall, I, could, I thought they were stairs. Screwed up. Don't quite know what I was doing there. game. Oh, maybe not. We definitely get this uh, hook thing. Bell needs to start opening this door, otherwise he's going to die. Hey, Gavin, good to see you. Second hook for old Billy Bob. We know Dwight is definitely coming back in for the save. And we're okay with it. Because, again, like I said, we're just trying to play a fun game with people. Oh, no, they're at the exit gate. There's enough time to go save him. I'm going to let them heal and come back in and save Bill. It's what friends do. Well, I was hoping this is what friends do. Nope. Big shame. We gave him so much room to make that save. Poor Bell. 